Hi everyone, this is uh, I am Sagar Shah and today I would like to talk about uh, the all new Chessbase 14. Well, uh, in a way it's uh, no longer so new, two months already have passed by and uh, well, giving a lecture on Chessbase 14 would mean uh, taking up a lot of your time because there are so many features, it's surely rewarding. So what I would uh, do is to try to break up some of the new functions and one of the things that I would like to talk about today is the function of assisted analysis. So as you can see this is the main screen of Chessbase 14 and from my databases you can gather that I am using it a lot. So uh, there are a lot of databases. Now what exactly is uh, assisted analysis so when you go to this uh, button over here when you open a board and go into the tab analysis you will find that there is something called as assisted analysis here and it's ticked right now so we want it on you can always switch it off from here uh, the point is when you click on a piece it actually tells you which squares it can go to and how these squares are so you can see the moves e3 and e4 both are pretty good so let's say uh, it's not particularly right now useful because we know some of the theory but uh, let's assume um, something very normal like bishop c4 knight f6 and we reach this position and now I click on my knight say the f3 knight and you will see all the squares that it can go to are highlighted the knight could go to g1 it could go to <coughs> g5, h4, d4, e5. These are the five squares. And you will see that e5 and d4 are both colored in red. That's plunder. Yeah, you're giving up your knight. Uh, this is a uh, green, which is theory. I mean, it's a good move. So it's a theoretical move anyway. Uh, knight g1 is a bad move. And so is knight h4. But you will see that these two moves, knight g1 and knight h4, are not in particular red color. You know, it's a light red, which means that uh, it's not so bad. So the shade of this, uh, of the square, indicates how bad the move is. So if the shade becomes really dark red, it's a horrible move. Okay, so when you go knight g5, now uh, the next question is um, how to save the pawn and then you know I, I right now know that the right move is d5 so you click on d7 and it shows d6 as red and d5 is the right move. So I, I uh, you know this initial uh, thing which you see about assisted analysis uh, could make you feel that it's a pretty uh, useless function you know uh, even the people asked me like there was a, a function where you click on a piece and the engine would show you threats is this similar well I would say not at all first of all it's uh, not at all similar and uh, in the next few minutes uh, I would like to show you how this function is extremely useful okay so what we would do now is move to uh, my uh, database of annotated games and I'm going to pick up this game uh, that I played in the Vienna Open uh, against uh, the first round against Schweitzer and uh, let's say I just close this notation so that you know I could even test you it's always good to uh, do two or three things at the same time so you learn this chess base as well as you learn something uh, about chess so I'm, I'm going to go through the opening moves pretty quickly. It was standard stuff. Uh, there are some analysis which I have done. The move d4 was bad because after bishop g4, uh, the pawn is pinned, of course. And uh, let's say we make a few more moves. I won a pawn and let me move this to the side. Okay. And after few moves I had already penetrated into his position and won a piece but he had a trap in store for me and he played the move f5 now the the point is this move has two things it attacks the rook on d2 and it also threatens f6 
so as a player when you are when you are sitting here uh, you start thinking about this you know as a chess player uh, and it makes sense to think about the position in order to get better so you thinking and uh, in general what you would do after you find a move or even if you haven't found the answer is to check the engine yeah so i could go to uh, home and i could start a kibitzer and i could say okay and the kibitzer is added and it shows me that d3 is the correct move in this position now it just told me the move and it was not so useful now with the assisted analysis actually right now when i click this it shows a green square but how would i know whether you know the rook moving to f8 is the correct move you know just all reds because f6 loses or is it the knight moving which is the correct square or is it this knight you know uh, do you click each and every piece to know which one is the correct one well not really what you do is you have this mouse with you uh, it's very important that you use a mouse of course you can use the scroller on the keypad as well the scroll pad but I, I would say the mouse and uh, in this there is a scroll uh, scroller in between and you when you scroll it you can see this yeah over here that the d4 pawn is getting highlighted which means it's the correct move <clears throat> now after king h1 once again we are with the same thing so we do two things right now uh, we need to find the right move and we need to know which piece is it so uh, once again i start with the rook i touch the rook and all reds and black you know black is a mating move it's a horrible move again the knight and all reds again here you will see that knight f5 is a light red because it uh, postpones mate at least by a move while knight c6 knight c8 are dark reds now what i can do is i can just once again scroll my uh, mouse wheel and i will know that the queen is the correct move to be made so now my mind is already starting to think what would be the right move of the queen and then i could just press on the queen and i instantly get to know that its queen takes b2 uh and actually this is very nice because what are you going to do to f6 now it's mate in one on g7 so the first move is obvious i take the pawn king g1 and here comes uh, the question to you uh, what should black play <clears throat> once again uh, thing is your thinking and if you switch on the engine it will immediately tell you the right move and you don't learn anything what i like is that you first get a small hint you you move your scroller and it shows the queen so what about the queen can we go queen b6 check you know uh, the king takes on h2 and when you click on the queen you instantly realize that uh, the g2 move is the correct move so you scroll to know the piece and then you actually make the move to to know what is the correct move and this is uh, really nice because after bishop g2 rook h6 black is just winning <clears throat> and i find this uh, extremely useful uh, to actually uh, start thinking in certain patterns uh, earlier the way we used to know about the right move was by seeing the engine window and uh, the assisted analysis is actually going to change the way we think in certain positions uh well i i think there is also something else that uh, i would like to look at there was this uh, for players who are very strong and who think that this is not so useful i showed it to a few grandmasters about 2600 and uh, they were also impressed by this so uh, what you could do is for example uh, i guess there was this game between uh, anand and uh, wesley so if you remember from the london chess classic uh, anand played his favorite uh, knight bd7 line bishop f4 if i'm not wrong yes dc4 e3 and then this nice move b5 knight b5 bishop b4 check and knight d5 uh and uh, in this position black play a uh, white played a3 knight into c3 queen d2 
and imagine that uh, there are there are few possibilities here um, which can actually happen and uh, you know if you want to know the good move over here you just scroll your mouse and it shows that the knight should be moved so you touch on the knight and you know that it can go to d5 or e2 and or e4 see the e4 square suddenly becomes yellow so it's like uh, it's dynamic yeah it, if you give it more time it can give you better results just like an engine but let's assume that uh, Anand was preparing this, in fact his second Gaevsky, and uh, he just touched the bishop. And he saw that the squares, okay, bishop c5 is not so great, bishop d6 looks like the green move, but that's of course plain. But hey, wait, bishop into a3, that's not colored in red. I mean, uh, that looks like an interesting move to think about. And then he makes the move bishop into a3 and suddenly, uh, you know, you can then start your engine and start looking at it in more ways and it turns out that it is a good move, which Anand played and drew the game without any difficulties with Wesley So, And I think with assisted analysis, you can make excellent use of this feature. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, so in this way, it's very nice. Another thing which uh, you know you can do just uh, to reinforce the idea in your mind. First of all, uh, you can always okay. I I'll go into the technicals later. Uh, one more game that I would like to show you. It's between uh, Magnus Carlsen and uh, Wojtasek, uh, which happened yesterday. Uh, it was the Sicilian Nidorf and this new move little move a3 now uh, it's completely new there's nothing much of theory on this so let's see how we understand this opening without switching on the engine so white played e5 and carlson's move was knight to f5 now if you touch the knight on d4 you will realize that uh, it suggests knight f3 and knight b3 as good moves uh, knight f3 as dark green which means better and knight b3 as light green which is an okay move but uh, not bad i mean it's not yellow yellow is a okayish move so better than okay and uh, it shows knight f5 as uh, really not so great but carlson played it and after knight f5 the the question that uh, comes to mind is what is black's best way to play so you scroll it and it shows the d6 pawn very interesting now you have another question, what happens if I take knight takes e4? This looks like interesting because if white recaptures, bishop f5 is just better for, for black. But then you again scroll the mouse and you know knight on f5 is the piece that has to be moved. And thinking a bit, you realize that not knight d6 because he can take back, but actually it's knight to g7 move. Uh, you can think about this. but if you are unable to you just click on the knight and you see that g7 is the green square so you play knight takes g7 and once again it's a better position after bishop g7 and knight to e4 i would say white is better so when you scroll the mouse it says d5 move uh, and you make the move and then again you start thinking about what is to be played so you use the scroller and it says the queen okay I don't know where does it want the queen to go to so I'm thinking about queen f3 does it want it to go to f3 or does it want to play queen d3 uh, and I realize that okay queen f3 is what his idea is you get new ideas by just using your mouse wheel to scroll and your clicks okay now there is another feature which uh, is very nice is which i haven't been able to uh, explain it to you before which i should do now is that let's assume queen f3 is a good move but queen g4 is showing red and you don't know why now this is very obvious why it's bad yeah because there is the knight will take it what you do is you haven't left the queen yet it's still in your hand the mouse and you right click it and you instantly realize the refutation for it is knight takes g4 so this is how uh, we could do in this case where 
when you play knight into e4 you could instantly not leave your left click and click on the right button and it shows knight into g7 is the best move to it so again an excellent feature for finding out new moves uh, and so after d5 okay in the game carlson played bishop g5 which was again uh, not particularly a great move according to this uh, assisted analysis i would say assisted analysis not uh, the strongest of engines so deep moves are not very easy for it to find d4 again you touch the mouse it it says knight b1 but knight d5 was played no carlson first over here uh, you scroll the mouse it says move the knight but bishop f6 was what carlson played and gf6 is shown as the best move but what does it took here knight d5 queen d8 and uh, here it's again important to understand what is the right move so you scroll the mouse uh, mouse wheel and you get to know that uh, queen has to be moved and queen g4 looks like an interesting idea and once you play it you realize oh my god look at this there's a pin here and maybe g6 is going to be quite dangerous so you make the move g6 but it, it looks good uh, you could test yourself now on g6 which i would like to do uh, or so we'll come back to this again you use your scroller and you get to know the queen is the right move and you press it and queen g3 is correct but you could have got the answer to this if you had just made the move not left it yet right click and here it says queen h4 so you have to be a little careful yeah uh, maybe it's not the best move to queen h4 here but after g6 now if you touch the queen it says queen h4 suddenly it's yellow so queen g3 is the correct move in this way what we have done is navigated a very complicated system played by Carlson at the top level in a uh, simple manner without even starting our engine so many people ask me is there an engine found over here well it's not a powerful engine or such it's a normal refutation engine uh, but it's good enough to find normal moves you know if you're looking at in-depth detailed novelties then you will have to go to your home and uh, start your kibitzer over here you know the normal engine like houdini uh, komodo and all these stuff but if you are trying to just gain an idea about what's happening i would say assisted analysis is perfect for you and uh, the nice thing about it is that uh, if you touch a piece and it's not going to move like the predictive moves that are there in chess base uh, the earlier one you move a piece and it makes a move you know uh, sorry the white move over here you you press the knight it doesn't move because they want to use assisted analysis what you could do is you could go to analysis turn it off anytime uh, this is very simple and then when you press the knight it immediately makes a move you haven't even so this is predictive movement uh, it makes the the most obvious move or something like that in the position another thing which uh, last thing i would say is that if you put if you turn on the assisted analysis and put it on uh, training mode over here let's say you go to notation you turn on assisted analysis now it's on like you touch a piece it shows all these different colors that it can go to and now i go to training mode it's closed so that you know they have kept the training mode to be still the training that has to be given no assisted assisted analysis works here so it's again a very nice thing uh, i hope that you uh, learned a bit it's useful for any level of player whether you are uh, a beginner uh, whether you are a uh, I am or a GM uh, even a player like Anand could find it useful if used properly uh, and this is what chess base tries to do it gives you technology to uh, tr get more options how to use it is in your hands so thank you so much for uh, listening to me and I hope that uh, I can make many more videos on tutorials of chess base 14